Hi, it's the 12th, 12th February 2012. You're looking at Angry Birds in Space. You're also listening to me, Top Gold, on Twitter. That's Bernie Goldbach. But I'll talk about the Sunday news from Ireland. Angry Birds is a movie. Sunday has magazines, a nice uh, read for the whole week. I'm going to go through some of the Sunday papers this week. Starting with Sunday Times, ended up in the Sunday Business Post. And in between, well, right now, I'm going to go inside of the Financial Times. I like this Nokia Lumia phone, and I'm going to have a quick look if it behaves for me. Uh, uh, an item that deserves to be looked at in the Financial Times. You know, uh, if I knew my way around the phone, I knew how not to push hard and tap, I get this stuff come up straight away. Watch me on Audio Boo, you're not seeing any of this. But instead, you go to Financial Times, the tech section, Story of the Week, Paths, Privacy Concerns. Um, Maryam Nabi writes a story. And it's a really balanced story about PATH, the program, the application. you got to read it because it includes some really good stuff from people that know the business. Inside Sunday Times, front page, paper, front page of the papers about bin Laden telling his children, go to the U.S. and live in peace. Julian Thompson writes the article from Islamabad. He urges younger children to go to university in the West, live peacefully rather than follow jihad like he did. Thoughtful. That's also something I knew here about his brothers at Harvard, University of California, L.A., um, and Tufts University. A well-educated, affluent man, actually. And his kids, grandkids are being held by the Pakistani authorities. I said this already. Webb Street is streets ahead of government repair line. Ethna Shortall writes a story about John Handelar's really cool fixmystreet.ie. I might get involved in that. A long read of the week, if you're watching me. You know what that means. It's uh, something that's done by a publisher, not a DIY publisher, and I'll get to it in a minute, but Gabriella Monaghan has an article about um, Omar Ross, former literary agent, has two novels released by Penguin, who's starting out this thing called the Alliance of Independent Authors, launching, hoping to get 500 people who are also writers to avoid the publishing sharks that are out there. Now, here's a long read of the week. It's called A Class Apart. The article is, Charles Murray caused a storm by identifying Britain's underclass. Now he's dividing America by looking at the sharp polarization of U.S. society. And he basically pointing out how much, how much ruin does the American project have left. Pointing out that, you know, people in America, and I'm, one, I'm an American in Ireland, to be different than other nationalities and ways that uh, people treasured in the U.S. The culture is coming apart at the seams, so says the book by Charles Murray. It's called Coming Apart, The State of White America. I mean, I grew up in that white, that white America, and uh, some very um, worthwhile article, it's a worthwhile uh, book to read. The tweet hereafter is a new is a story about a new documentary. Kate Bussman has the story, and she's writing about tweetumentary. And um, the the um, director, Siok Sok Tan, went around the United States visiting people like Janice Crumbs who took a picture of the plane landing in the Hudson, and Marie Walsh, a homeless woman who got off the streets by through Twitter, actually. And outside of Las Vegas, Miki Tan, a porn star who offers uh, special rates for military and uh, law enforcement officials. Inside Sunday Business Post, fewer items of interest. Front page, though, indigenous industry gets a boost from new state supports. Cliff Taylor has a story, but the hidden story is the county enterprise boards are going back inside the uh, local authorities, which may not may not be as good as it, as it looks. Uh, might actually be doing it for savings, but not necessarily uh, contact with, uh, with industry. So consider that, lads. Hey, look at this. Damian Mully, Social Media Awards is what he's talking about. Siobhan Brett has a story about it. Um, hey, you know what? I have a question, though. Damian's a, he's a good event organizer, but I'm looking at all these entries and all these judges and like trying to figure out if you're a winner for something, something like, you know, best Twitter account, you know, if you're going to be like Damien, and um, he sets the standard for tweeting while well, uh, Irish Rail or tweeting about complaints or tweeting um, nice tearaway casual comments to people, if that's the standard, well, he set a high standard for it, let's just say. Not many people do use Twitter the same way Damien does. David McWilliams, a storm's been brewing over Europe. He says, get ready for Greece lightning. And he points out, the world knows austerity isn't working. It's insanity to insist upon it. Hey, those are my short reads of the week. I got stuff to do, more audio boost to make. It's February for you guys that are out there. You want to follow me? It's Topcold on Twitter or audioboot.fm. Stroke Topcold. Thanks for listening to my short Sunday news. My grass is green. 
enough to be mowed soon. Bernie Gobach, Cashel County Chipper Ireland saying thanks for listening. Bye for now.